Hi, welcome to my channel Jabber Time, where I do math videos from algebra to calculus and differential equations, simplified with examples. If you are new here and you liked this video, hit the like button and consider subscribing. Any comments or questions, leave them down below. And hopefully, I'll see you again and again. And thank you for watching. Hi, welcome to my channel, Jabber Time. Today we're going to count how many ways you could go from A to B, how many different paths you could go from A to B. I have two graphs. The first one is easier than the second one, so I'm going to start with the first one, then we'll go to the second one. How many paths from A to B? If you go straight up 1, 2, 3, then you go right 1, 2, 3, 4, as you could see, I have one way. This is the way I'm showing you on the graph. Up, 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 then right, 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 right. Well, that's not the only way. Let's experiment and see some other ways. How about if you go right first? Right, 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 as you could see. Then up, up, up. That's another way. Let's see another way. Uh, those are kind of quick and simple ways. Let's try something different. Up right, up right, up right, 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 then up. Uh, probably by now you notice something. In all the three graphs, I have how many red, how many green? They're the same. Four right and three up. Take a look. 4 right and 3 up, 4 right and 3 up. So the question is, how many ways you could order these R's and these ups? That will give you how many ways you could go from A to B. All right, let's move on. This is called combination formula or method. A combination is a selection of items from a collection. The order does not matter. What do I mean by the order does not matter? Because if I switch this up with this up, it doesn't make any difference. It's not like all completely different letters. When it's different letters, I could, if I switch A and C, it makes a difference. So that's why order does not matter. The formula for the combination is the following. C, which means shoes from N items or items and put them in different places sometimes we write it this way ncr sometimes we write it this way kind of like lengthy parentheses and on top r at the bottom side and this is what we have in calculations n factorial over n minus r factorial multiplied by r factorial let's take a look at this up right up right 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 up well, if I pay attention to the U's, which are in red, I have seven spots, a total of seven. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But I want to fill three of them with red. Which ones can I use? I could use the first three. I could use the first and the third and the last, as it shows. I have different ways of choosing three out of seven where order does not matter one more time these use if you switch them it doesn't make any difference so doing the calculations seven minus three factorial is four factorial if i don't have a calculator i could do this by hand and this is how we do it seven times four times five uh, six times five times four but from four down it's called four factorial so i stopped right here so i could cancel it with a four factorial and now I have 7 times 6 times 5 on top. And I have 3 factorial down. And 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. So I could cancel the 6 with the 3 factorial. And I have left 7 times 5, which is 35. So the answer to the question is 35. Now, you might say, well, you picked on the 3, which is in red. Can I pick the... Uh, 
which is in red, and right, which is green. Can I pick the right ones instead? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, the answer for this problem is 35 pass from A to B, and let's try something else. Here we go. So I have two rights, two ups, two rights, and one up, as it shows. Let's pick the right ones, which are in green now, instead of picking the red one. Seven, one more time, it's the same number. Pick four randomly, four spots, and fill them in with R, and order doesn't matter. So I'm gonna go seven factorial, seven minus R, this time R is four, and we have R factorial, and seven minus four factorial is three factorial. Simplify this and you get also 35. Now, Here's another way, which is interesting, and it's actually more interesting than this idea by going right and up and so on. Let's count differently. To go from this point to this point, there is one way. To go from this point to this point, that's one way. To go from this point to this point, because you can't go down, up and down. It's only up and right. It's only one way. To get to this point, there's two ways. You could go right and up, or you could go up and right. What's interesting here is this two is an addition of this corner numbers one and one. Now to get to this point, it's two different ways. How about if you want to reach this point? Well, to get to here, it's one way. To get to here is two ways. Count these corner points and you get three different ways. You could list them, you could try it, right, right, up, right, up, right, or up, right, right. You could try it. Uh, let's finish the problem and see all the numbers on those corners. Well, I have here two. One and two is three. One and three is four. Three and three is six. Four and six is ten. Six and four is ten. Ten and five that's 4 and 1 is 5, it's 15, 15 and 20 is also 35. If you take this numbers and flip them like clockwise and put this A all the way on top, you'll notice the following, that we are actually looking at Pascal's triangle. Pascal's triangle, these numbers are actually the combination numbers. Take a look, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3 comes from 1 and 2, this 3 comes from 2 and 1, and 1, 1, 4, 4 comes from 1 and 3, 6 comes from 3 and 3, and the story continues. Look down here, I have 1, 7, 21, 35, 35, 21, 7, and 1. The 35 is actually our answer, and if you look at these numbers in a different way, this is 7 shoot 0, like imagine if you look at seven and walk away. How many ways you could do that? Only once. How many, if you look at seven items and you pick one, how many ways you could do that? Seven different ways. You could pick the first, you could pick the second, and so on. And the circle continues. So seven pick three is 35, and seven pick four is also 35. That's very interesting. Let's look at something more interesting. How about if you want to go from A to B, but you're missing here something? Let's take a look. First of all, we have 1, 1, 1, 1. To get to this point, it just goes straight. That's one way. Same thing up. To get to this point, that's 2. To get to this point, that's 3, 1, and 2. To get to this point, that's 2 and 1, which is 3. To get to this point, that's 6, which is 3 and 3. Now, here's what's interesting, which is this point. How can I get to this point? Well, this point, it doesn't have, it's not connected this way. Like, I can't just add corners. I can't add 4 and 10. Don't do that. That's a mistake. Because you can't go here and reach up to this point. This point does not lead you to this right here. So, if you could get to this point 10 ways, you could get to this point also 10 ways. And that's what I mean. If you get to this point 5 ways, to get to this point, it's still 
five ways. It's not gonna be five plus ten or whatever. It's not. There's only one way. Okay, we got those out of the way. So what's this? That's fifteen. That's ten up to this point. Five different ways up to this point. So to get to this point, there is fifteen different ways. How about this one? That's twenty-five. How about this one? That should be six. So that's what I have for you. I think the story continues and you know how to do it. Six and one is seven, six and five is 11 and so on. To save you some time, I have it up here. So how many ways you could go from A to B? 110 different ways. There are 110 paths from A to B. That's interesting. So math is all about patterns and Hopefully that was clear. I tried my best to deliver in less time. And this is what I have. There is more coming, uh, coming videos like these guys. Uh, it's very interesting and I want to keep adding to my playlists. I want to keep adding videos. I started my YouTube about four months ago and I have over 50 or 55 videos so far. This week I uploaded seven. 5 plus 2 today that's 7 uh, hopefully you like this video if you like it hit the like button if you did not subscribe if this is your first time and you like it you want to see more uh, hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment if you have any concerns or any questions and I'll see you in the next one thank you thank you for watching if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you next time Thank you.